Hello, so today we're with Minnie and she's came in because she's had a sore leg for the last couple of days. A wee bit caught on the step, hopping down and she's done her cruciate ligament in this back leg, which is quite a common injury. We've discussed the options with the owner, but in the meantime, we um, just need to manage her at home um, with cage rest. A little tip is to help her get around by just rolling a towel long ways up and then you can use that as a little bit of a support under her belly a little bit more slippery on the line oh and then as she hops up here we go we pop it so you can just hop that in under her belly and then when she needs to go out to the toilet it can just help support and you're not having to bend down and you can actually stand up um, and just help her walk along. So that's a, just a clever little tip on how to um, help support your wee dog as you're taking them out for a toilet, um, especially if they've um, got a sore leg. So that's um, a very cunning trick. Thanks, Minnie. Hi, so Minnie will need to stay in a cage at home so she's confined and not hurt her leg even more. So I was going to show you how to um, set up a cage and how we manage them. So we like the collapsible cages, they're easy to transport. So you can buy these or we sometimes do loan them out to our clients. So you lift it up and then grab each side. And you just want to make sure that you get them hooked in so they're not going to collapse down. And that has to come around the sides as well. And then we come to this end. Okay. This is a nice wee cage um, because it's actually got a door on the side or it does have a door on the end. I personally find the door on the side is a lot easier to, to get you know, and you're not reaching right into the back. So I use the door on the side. We usually pop just a bit of newspaper in. And then we like the good old dry beds. So these are awesome because they actually, if they pee on them, it can just dribble uh, through and then this dries real quick on top so they don't, um, so they don't have a sitting on a wet bed all the time. So that's quite comfy, you can put some water in there as well. And then what I do is I put a blanket or a sheet even, depending on how warm or cold it is, over the top. Just so that they're secure and to stop any drafts. Usually I leave one side out so they can see what's going on, but I just tuck it in all the way around, even under the cage, so there's no drafts.